come back uh, to this session and remember last time we created a flask application based on k-mean clustering this is our application and here is the structure of our project we have just made and here is the same on the terminal so be sure that you are on the correct location in your terminal and the first step is to test again our application we did it in the last of my video for this project but you can test it again right now so um let's do it right now okay i checking that is it's looking nice it's make a prediction here's segment number two so um now i feel that i'm ready to move forward and uh, next what i can to do is to uh specify the application dependencies this is a, a necessary step to define the environment where uh, which support my application so um I need to create a requirement.txt file in my project structure. It is right here. Yeah, it's attach requirement.txt. Okay, and uh, this is my new file, and it is right here also. And I need to create my list of dependencies that support my application. Okay, and I need to open uh, my file in here. And to make it more convenient, I open my app.pi and let's check what my application is used. Okay, and here's a flask. I need to write a flask in here. And then I need to use a pickle. Here's a pickle. I know that from the Python official library is a JSON pickle and the version number will be defined later. Also, it is a numpy. Here's a numpy version, and here's a scipy. It is for uh, making a, a cluster. Okay, and so now I have a four elements in my requirement.txt file. That's quite good. Now I need to specify the versions of my main dependencies. So I use a pip list command, and in here, for example, it is a flask, and flask is 201 this is the version for flask okay and for json pickle for json pickle i'm having 200 version in my local computer so copy and paste this version right here and the same for numpy and for numpy i'm having um what's that it's 195 okay so copy and paste this element and scipy for scipy I'm having and it is 154 okay copy and paste and just keep, uh, be notified that this is the main dependencies each of these dependencies has its own deeper dependencies so we will uh, complete the list of dependencies a little bit later so just for now I need to build my virtual environment with the main dependencies we listed just a minute before so i'm creating my virtual environment it's a flask and env and it is right here i need to activate it yeah this is my folder of my virtual environment okay i'm sure that i'm correct location so um i can to activate it to be sure that it's working it's been activate and then here yeah, it's activated so and I'm clearing the terminal and I want to install the requirements from my requirement.txt file. So I'm installing the main dependencies from requirement.txt file. It's simple like that. Okay. It is installing a numpy, scipy, um, pickle, etc. etc. Okay. It's installed. So I have installed all main dependencies in my environment. And now I can check uh, my application that it should work and it seems that it's working. So I copy and paste the address and I need to check again to be sure that I didn't miss something in here. Okay. So it seems that it's going to be working. Segment number two. That's looking good. So as I mentioned before, each dependency has its own deeper dependency. So I need to figure out what is the deeper dependency of this list main. So as you can see with pip freeze, you can see the complete list of the dependencies I need to specify in my 
requirement.txt file. So this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so copy and paste the full list of my dependencies. So save it again. Okay, and then um, what you can to do is to check that it's saved. Yeah, it's saved successfully. I'm checking in my terminal. Okay, and then what you can to do is uh, yeah, I can to close it for now. And I can to do to adopt the application code that it should be suitable for deployment in AWS Beamstall. And uh, I need to replace app to application in any, in all location in my code. It's not an app, it is application. This is necessary rule for AWS Beamstall. Okay, and then what you can to do, um, uh, yeah, and also I renamed the main file. It's not app, it's application.pi, okay? And then I can to test my application again. Now it's not app.pi, it's application.pi. So testing again. So some, just put any random values. Okay, segment number zero this time. Um, okay, I can to minimize this window. So closing the session and then um, what you can to do, I can to install all my dependencies in my virtual environment. So this time I'm installing the full list of dependencies, not only the main ones. Okay. And then I can to check application just again. Um, this is my style of coding. I always need to check that I'm not going to be lost in the middle of my uh, coding session. Okay. So that seems it's working. And the next step is to, um, to add configuration file uh, that is necessary for deployment. It is like just a simple uh, recipe for a cloud framework that I want, I want to deploy a, a Flask application that is based on Python. And for this, I need to create a AB extension folder and in this folder, I am creating a configuration file. It is uh, python.config. Okay. It is right here. And in this file, I need to paste some content. It is quite simple. Just copy and paste from my notes. Uh, you can see the same in the description of this video. Okay. Yeah, I paste it. It's right here. And saving. And close. Okay, just checking. Yeah, all the files are in place. And uh, before deploying, I need to remove DC store from my Mac operation uh, system files. And also I need to remove my uh, virtual environment folder because it is not gonna be deployed in my uh, AWS Beamstalk. So I deactivating this environment and uh, I need to delete it for now because uh, I need to create a separate environment in the cloud. So and before deploying I need to make a zip archive of my application. So for this I'm using a terminal command for zipping all the content that is in the structure of my project. So I'm zipping in application.zip and I need to ignore uh, DC store file. If you're using a Mac, you should do the same. If you're using Windows, it's, it doesn't touch you. Okay. And now I have application.zip. That is, it's right here. And I'm going to upload this file to AWS Beamstalk in the next step. Okay. So, and this step is step number seven. I'm deploying my uh, Flask application in Elastic Beamstalk. So I'm going to AWS console and I need to create a new environment. And this is the reason why I didn't um, upload the environment folder directly in uh, Elastic Beamstalk. I need to create environment um, directly in Beamstalk as a separate one. And I can just specify the domain. It is Flask Clustering YouTube. You can check the availability for your project. So the platform is a Python 
is version 3.7 and in here is very sensitive moment I need to upload my archive uh, from my local machine it is application.zip and I'm uploading it to AWS Beamstalk and yeah and I need to create an environment based on this file okay so it's going to be creating uh, normally it's taking um, about five minutes so I speed it up um, this part of this tutorial it's loading it's loading it's creating a cloud watch alarms it's creating auto scaling group and all the elements that is necessary to perform uh, environment in correct way so just wait a little bit it's take about uh, five or six minutes is depend on the number of uh, dependencies you're using so it's created a load balancer um, and instance deployment completely successfully it's very important so and you see my application is okay that is really fine yes you see the green mark in here it's a health is very good um, and all good information below no errors and now I can to test it on the web you see this URL that you can access your application from worldwide from any location in the world so let's check the application directly in your browser but for this time not in your local machine but in the cloud and yes it's working it's making prediction and in this way you can deploy your any flask application in AWS Beamstall you see it's working you can share the link you can make a modification improvement apply a um, model versioning uh, combined with CDCI uh, uh, pipelines for MLOps so and this is all what I wanted to, to show you today um, I think that is quite simple a uh, solution to uh, bring your application to the cloud and share with the uh, business so and that's all for this video I hope that's very useful for you and see you next time bye bye